Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a 3D video camera that my wife and I have been using. Actually, I guess it's not technically a video camera, but it's a 3D camera system that will allow us to do virtual tours of our apartments, our properties that we have for sale. And my name is Brandon Yeager. I am a real estate investor and a real estate broker here near about an hour east of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, near Lake Trobe and Greensburg. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you, my wife and I, we were we were looking for a 3D camera system uh, over the last several months for many reasons. Number one, we were starting up our new brokerage and we were looking for a competitive edge, something that was going to help us to differentiate ourselves. And that's, that's kind of what originally headed us down the path. And, and our thinking was that anybody who goes to list a home with us that's over $100,000, we're going to do a free 3D virtual tour. And, and we are moving in that direction. And the second thing that we were looking for is a way to save time and money. We figured that we, we have some uh, different leads on some apartment buildings and showing apartments as a landlord or as a seller, a, a real estate agent or a realtor can have challenges because it's sometimes very difficult to get into the properties. And what we wanted to do was minimize how many times we were gonna have to get into a property to show it. And then now I guess the third reason, in light of this virus that's kind of going throughout the whole world, the ability to show properties remotely is uh, paramount to being able to do your business as a realtor uh, quickly and efficiently. If, if you're able to show properties without ever even leaving your home to go and show them. Uh, my wife and I, we also have a wedding reception hall and what we've been able to do is do a 3D tour of the reception hall floors that we so that we can show to prospect, prospective brides and grooms so that they don't have to leave their homes and they can virtually tour the venue as well so there's a lot of different advantages but what i'm going to do is first i want to uh i want to talk about what's on the market for 3d cameras because there's quite a few different things and we were we were really kind of thinking of, of the software that we wanted to use there's one called matterport which we had ended up settling on, but uh, it seemed like it was fairly expensive. But as we looked at different options, we found that it probably gave us uh, the best bang for the buck. We ended up looking through probably 15 or 20 different pieces of software. We looked at them and based them on pricing and different things that their, their capabilities, what they're able to do. And in the end, we settled on Matterport. And then the cameras themselves this was a whole new arena for us. We weren't exactly sure what we were looking at. Uh, there is the uh, Rico Theta. I don't, I don't know if it's a V or a five, but it's represented by the, the letter V. I'm gonna call it the Rico Theta five. Uh, that, and this is the camera right here. Uh, it's about $380. Uh, I will provide a link if you're interested in uh, checking that out a little more detail. And there's also, the Rico, I think it's the Theta Z1, and then there's also a Matterport camera. The Z1 can push upwards of $1,000, and the Matterport, I think it's called the Pro 2 or something like that, those could run anywhere from like $3,500, $4,000, and by the time you get your cases and everything like that, uh, you could have a lot of money tied up into it. What we did is we take we took a look at, in this case, the, the, the Rico Theta, five and we checked out some reviews on it and most importantly what we did is we looked at some actual Matterport camera usage of it uh, we, we checked out YouTube videos and everything and we seemed satisfied with what we were seeing the, the real proof would be actually doing some ourselves and seeing how they looked and I'm going to share with you guys some of those uh, 3d tours that we put together with the cameras but one other cool aspect is that, so whenever I hear 3D camera, I wasn't sure if this mounts, and basically what we do, and I'll provide a link to a tripod as well, but there is, uh, this is just a, a fairly uh, inexpensive tripod. It has the extendable legs on the bottom, and what it has is there is a, a clip that goes into the tripod, and the bottom of the camera has... A little screw in attachment where that goes on to the camera and at first I thought maybe the camera had some type of a motorized device that spins it around the room but the fact of the matter is is once you have the camera there's a piece of software and what you it, it's it's fairly simple to do 
what you uh, what you're able to do is you set the tripod in the middle of the floor with, with the camera on top you go into another room push a button and because if you look closely this camera on it has two cameras one on each side and they each can take a picture that's 180 degrees of the room so it literally takes a 360 degree circle without having to move which is really kind of cool I, I was originally thinking oh yeah it's gonna you know has a motor and spin around but it's it's nothing like that just the two different cameras on the camera itself are able to film the entire room and then it compiles it all and then one of the cool things is we're able to pull single pictures and I'm going to show you some examples of those as well here shortly so those are that's the camera system that we're using the software is 3d Matterport uh, there's some different packages and pricings that you can check out and I'm go let's go ahead and let me kind of show you around a couple of these virtual tours here quickly okay so I just figured I'd pop over here to uh, our website for our wedding venue the and there are uh, a couple main event floor and top maidens parlor uh, 3d tours that we put together now it's going to be a little uh, I'm trying to fit this into the screen but you're able to kind of zoom right down in and that dollhouse view that we were just at that was kind of cool as well but so you literally are able to kind of walk right through let me let me go down to the the main level downstairs and kind of show you guys around uh is the bar So you can kind of see that you can literally walk right through the building without having to um, without having the vert without having to physically go there. And for us, the quality of the photos uh, it was it was enough that we decided to give it a shot, and that that's what we've been using, and and we think it's been fine for us just getting started into 3D camera modeling. And let me go ahead and show you some of the still pictures that we were able to pull off as well. Okay, so these are some of the still slides that we were able to... Now, this is the one thing is that that, that refrigerator is actually a single wide fridge that almost makes a, appear to be a double wide fridge, but it's just a single. Uh, this is one of our flip houses that we just put on the market. Uh, and, and again, during this virus, we were able to still sh give people a really good idea of what the home looks like and we also have then the 3D virtual tour set up for this. Let me show that to you. So we have the uh, the 3D virtual tour. Uh, we can zoom back out to the dollhouse plan, and this is where you can kind of spin or spin the house around and just take a look at everything and the the layout of it in general. And let me zoom back down into the kitchen here. So you can kind of see how we're able to spin it around, checking everything out. Come over here into the dining room area. This is a full bathroom on the first floor. And actually we put the laundry room in here as well. Not sure if we took a photo in there or not. But um uh, we're using this to change our business with our flips, our listings, our showings for our reception hall. Uh, any way that we are able to utilize this 3D camera, we, are, we have been working hard to uh, become really good at it and utilizing it in many different functions. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and you found it valuable. And if, if you did, uh, if you're on YouTube, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're on the website, if you have any questions, if you want to give me a comment, uh, run them past me and I will do the best I can to get them answered for you. Take care, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks.